cold water jig fishing. Like, we're not very far from this lake still being frozen. And it's dirty. Really, when the water is less than 45 degrees, these things are, they're just inactive. They're cold-blooded creatures. So a lot of these fish aren't gonna travel a long ways for a bait. A lot of times in dirty water, they're gonna get on something and hold on to it, whether it's a piece of wood or rock, something that they can get close to and just kind of heat their bodies up a little bit because there was ice on this lake not too long ago. Really the best way to catch them is to force yourself to slow down. Like the typical flipping and pitching where you're trying to be effective and, and cover as much pieces as you can, just take that right out, out of the ball game. You wanna, you wanna take your advantages of flipping and turn it upside down. Like instead of using an eight, eight to one reel, I like using a seven to one. I like upgrading my line to say 20 pound when 17 would suffice just to slow my bait down. And a jig, instead of using a, a half ounce or a three eighths, downsizing to a five sixteenths and using a bulky trailer just so it'll fall ever so slowly and it forces you to, to slow down and picking apart every single piece of cover that you see, almost every branch, and fishing extremely slow because the fish is just not gonna pick it up usually on the fall. And they're not gonna travel far for that bait. So what I've found in this cold water, especially dirty water, is you need to approach every, every piece of cover with the mindset that I have to make multiple pitches to the exact same piece of cover over and over and over again like we've seen today where a bass is just not going to bite on the first cast right now, and he's not going to travel more than a foot to get your bait. You e either need to take a crankbait in this cold water and get him react, or put a jig right in front of his face and force him to bite. And a good way to do that is to really downsize, downsize the weight of your bait and upsize, say, your line, your trailer, really get that thing to slow down because that forces you just to slow down and pick things apart effectively. And having a nice rod like a like a 7.3, this is a victory from St. Croix, 7.3, heavy, extra fast, a nice sensitive, uh, sensitive blank with a good tip on it so you can make accurate presentations and feel those fish when they bite because a lot of times they're not really thumping it. They're just gonna be there. And knowing when you have a bite and when it's a stick usually helps you from uh, pulling that bait away out of a out of a fish's mouth. So make sure to slow down upsize your line, upsize your trailer, downsize your weight, and make multiple presentations to pieces of cover. Like you can look down these, these banks and you have obvious spots. Like this piece of brush is an obvious spot. It sticks off of the bank. There's tons of, there's tons of cover that's right tight to the bank, but I want something that's the first thing that they can get on. The farthest out from the bank, different, I mean, in fishing you're looking for differences. And this is different from the rest of the bank. So a great spot to put this jig. But as you're fishing this jig, you can see we've got the base that probably runs up to the shoreline. You've got branches that stick off multiple ways. And I can already see I want, I want one in the middle right there. I want one closer to the base. I want one on each different branch. And I'm probably going to do that at least to the best spots. I'm going to put my jig there twice because they're so cold and you can miss them. If you miss them by six inches, they're probably not gonna come up and, and eat it. It's just, they're that lethargic. They're, it's cold water bass. You just really have to slow down and be methodical with a jig. I mean, this is my least favorite way to fish, but it's probably the most effective this time of year. Just picking it apart and it takes so long to get to the bottom, so that forces me to stay on a piece of cover longer then if I was using a half ounce, like a typical flipping jig, I'd be down, I'd make two pitches of this and I'd be gone. Whereas I give myself an opportunity, opportunity to fish this bait a lot slower, match that, uh, that fish's aggressiveness, which is not much right now, and keep the bait in his face. So when it comes to jig trailers, there's a ton of options out there and a lot of good ones, but what I like and what I think works, what I found to work best for me is having a chunk style rather than a moving, you know, craw style trailer. I think it just flows a lot nicer. It slows the bait down and it looks, it's not as much movement. There's not a lot of movement in cold water. So these fish, I just think that glide and that slow 
methodical, waving action looks better to me in cold water, and I seem to get more bites on it.